Hello! Did you have any trouble finding us way out here? <laughs> I know. After you turn off the main road, you just gotta keep driving and hope you get there. It's a little ways out, but here in the mountains we have some gorgeous views, don't we? And we just got some new snow, so the pine trees are all frosted and magical looking. Yeah, why don't you follow me over here to the tent and we can start orientation. There's a big lodge right up the hill that we'll go to after we're all done to warm up, get some snacks. Uh, but for right now, just head in this canvas tent. There's a wood stove in there to keep your toes warm until we head out on the trail. Yep, just right in here. You can sit on the bench if you need to warm up for a bit. I am glad to see you've dressed warm. It's a nice day, but it can get really chilly once we're out on the trail, so I like to make sure everyone's bundled up. The dogs are built for this weather, so we actually have to make sure that they don't overheat. <laughs> you can see if you just look out there, there's a few running around by that fence. They've got shorter looking coats. They're not the big fluffy dogs you sometimes see pulling sleds. And I know it feels cold to us, but once they start running, they generate a lot of heat. So we actually have to pick dogs that can handle this warmer weather. I know. <laughs> I say warmer weather in quotations because it's still very cold to us humans. But compared to the Arctic, it's not so bad. We have a building out there they can go inside to, to sleep or whatever they like, but mostly they spend time outside because they're built for the snow. So they usually prefer to be out in it. They're really comfortable in cold temperatures. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting a text. Uh, oh, okay. So the other group that was coming is not gonna be here until tomorrow. Yeah, bummer, their flight got changed or something. So uh, looks like it's just you and me. But that will be a lot more fun because we won't have any other teams pushing us. So we can take our time and stop and get some pictures if you want. Okay, great. Tira has a team out there waiting for us. So why don't we head out of the tents and I'll show you the sleds. Just right over here. I'm going to give you the lowdown before we go over to our team because as soon as we approach the dogs, they're going to start barking and not stop until we're on the trail. <laughs> and I don't want to have to yell all of this. So yeah, they get very excited. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, there's a couple sled sizes and we're going to take this bigger one since we'll both be on it. After you get the hang of sledding, you could take your own sled and follow me if you want, but we'll see how this first run goes, okay? <laughs> so a couple things before we go. There's two main rules. First rule is hold on. And the second rule is don't let go. <laughs> I am very serious though. They want to run. If they feel you let off pressure at all, they will take off. There is a break here. You step on this piece of metal and lean into it with everything you've got, but they can drag you along if you let up. So do not get off the brake. You can see it's got some teeth that dig into the snow, but it's only gonna do so much. So just lean on it. If we need to stop and I have to go adjust something, just stay on the brake. Okay, one person on the brake at all times. Otherwise they'll, they'll just be gone. <laughs> And you know, when we start, they're gonna take off and bolt, but they'll slow down very soon after. So don't worry, we're not gonna be careening around corners or anything. I know when it starts, it's a little bit ah, fast, but they'll mellow out. They just, you know, they just wanna get going. Okay, does that sound good? All right, why don't you come over this way, get to the team. They're gonna start getting really excited. Okay, I'm gonna stand on the front of the sled here and you stand on the back. You've got your own handle to hold on to. Put one foot on each runner. Okay, hold on right here. It's perfect. Yeah, it's kind of like skis. Tira, we're looping west and then we'll be back. 
Have fun on the trail. Are you good? All right. Let's go. <laughs> you do not have to tell them twice. Hold on. It's a little bit of a rough start. Ah, but see, we're already slowing down. They're all bark. Once they settle in, it's a nice, even pace. Hey, line out. Jojo. Jojo. No, sir. Rosie is up on the left, and Jojo is on the right. I've been having him lead, but he's still learning. He wants to stop and mark everything. Go on. Jojo, go on. Good boy. He's a lot better, but some days he just doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, they all have their own personalities. Okay, we have a turn coming up here on the right. I'm going to lean with the sled to help them turn, but you just stay where you are. Okay, don't lean. Because you're behind me, I can't see what you're doing, and if you lean also, it's going to throw me off. It's going to overcorrect. Okay, you just be my anchor. Stay as centered as you can, and I'll lean with the sled, okay? Perfect. G! G! Good boy. Jojo! Good boy. Good, Rosie. Ah, see, they got it. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I know, the sled is very flexible. It allows you to kind of lean into those turns and give them a little bit of help when they're heading, heading around a turn. Ah, it's so peaceful out here. Just the trees and lightly falling snow. It's almost magical, I think. Just floating through the woods. Go on. Jojo, line out. Good boy. <laughs> oh, when he tries to slow down, it can cause the lines to tangle up, so you want to keep him nice and straight. He just wants to sniff everything. He's a good pup, though. You can see how Rosie corrected him there. <laughs> She'll just kind of lean into him to make him go the right way. How many times have I tipped over? Oh, it usually averages once per season. <laughs> no, I have not tipped over once yet this year. <laughs> I know, fingers crossed. Well, sometimes the snow can hide obstacles. Just keep your knees bent a little and we should be able to ride those bumps out. It's not a smooth ride, but it is really quiet. You know, once they get going and stop barking, really all you can hear is the sled. They're going really well. Nothing left to do now, but uh, taking the view. Still doing all right back there? I know, it's so peaceful. We're getting to the halfway point. There's a nice spot up here where we can stop and get some pictures if you want. You left your phone in your other coat? Oh no! Oh, that's okay. I can use mine and send them to you. Okay, we're gonna slow down here. Whoa! Whoa! I'm going to stop for just a minute while I show you. Here, keep on the brake. <laughs> we'll both do it. Okay, there's a small hill coming up through those two trees right there that can be a little rough when it's not packed down. And with all the new snow, just hold on, all right? Okay, I'll slow them down as much as I can and we'll just get over it. Just be ready. Let's go! Easy! Easy, good. Easy. Oh, stay centered. Stay centered. Whoa. Oh no, oh no, are you okay? Are you okay? The runner broke. We must have caught a, a tree root or a rock or something and it just snapped. There the dogs go. They're gone. There they go. <laughs> Oh no! You lost your gloves. Oh, here's the other one. There you go. Are you sure you're all right? 
Man, we went flying. I am glad you didn't get stepped on. <laughs> oh. oh, they will be fine. You know, they know this trail. They'll just follow the loop back to camp. If it was just Jojo, I'd be worried, but Rosie knows the way. We'll be fine. They probably feel like they're flying without our extra weight. Uh, well, um, there's a cabin right past these trees and we can stay warm inside and see who wants to volunteer to come pick us up. It's getting later and colder every minute and it took us 30 minutes to get here on a sled in this unpacked snow. It's going to take a very long time to walk back and I vote we stay warm in the cabin. I can barely feel my toes as is. <laughs> okay, Tira will rescue us. We'll be fine. To the cabin.